Word to you, Amala. My name's Steve. This channel's Frags for Riches, and thank you for tuning in. There's no silly attempt at humour before this video because I know this video has potential to be quite long. So I don't want to add another minute or two minutes onto the video um, that's going to be quite long. So no humour today. It's just getting straight in with it. Hope that's okay. Um, I am doing this video because I want to talk to you about um, a little trial essentially that I'm part of and hopefully at the end of the video you'll get to be a part of it too because I am talking to you about some as yet unreleased fragrances from pocketsense.co.uk so this is essentially an exclusive so check check my bad self check your bad self Craig and if you don't know pocketsense are a clone house based in Scotland so I've been talking to him and they've got currently got one sort of two, one to two kind of lines as it were, there's two different price points. Some of the ones are about eight pounds, uh, these clones, and some of them are about 14 pounds. And I was talking to Matt and as much as he's really proud of what he's got, he was explaining to me that he wants to release a, a kind of more premium line. So it's gonna be a bit more expensive, still a lot cheaper than the originals, but it means that there won't be as many limiting factors and they can really do the best that they can and get some quality kind of products. Um, I should say that they've also got their own um, version of Aventus that is kind of at higher end. I think it retails about 30 pounds. I've not tried it, but it seems to get some quite good reviews. So by all means, give that a go if you're an Aventus fan and let me know. Anyway, I digress. So Matt has sent me four samples to try of this kind of premium line. I don't know what the line's going to be called, but um, and I'll maybe get some information from him at the end of the video and tell you the prices of these. So he sent me some four samples to try, so I'm going to kind of film a little mini review at the end of each day and kind of let you know what I think. And at the end of this video, um, we're going to look for you to kind of input. So, you know, what do you think? Would you pay? you know, this amount of money for these products that kind of perform like this, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and just get a bit of essentially market research. Now, I'm not getting paid for this. This is not s sponsored, you know. I've not even got any sort of free full bottles. I've literally got kind of little sort of tiny sample bottles. This was kind of just, Matt asked me to do it because I'm was i um, into it, and I'm now said to him, well, let's do it like this and kind of get the community involved if it works for him. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Today's first fragrance that I'm trying is their as yet unreleased version of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Now, I was excited by this because Silver Mountain Water is probably my favorite from the House of Creed. I much prefer it to Aventus, um, and I, I just really like Silver Mountain Water. If you've never tried it, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the breakdown of the notes, but it's supposed to env um, envision this kind of countryside mountain scene, uh, scene with streams and flowing water and just this lovely fresh kind of outdoor vibe and I get that from the scent and it's just yeah it's also really manly it's a clean fresh scent that's really manly and really for me I feel really alpha I really like it I think it's a really assertive kind of strong scent so I've been trying their version of Creed Silver Mountain Water today and what I've also been doing I've been wearing that on this arm and I've been wearing the uh, a sample of the original Creed Silver Mountain Water water on this arm. I've got my sample from Greggy Boy seventy six. He's a YouTube reviewer. He has his own website called FragranceSamplesUK.com where you can just get different sample sizes. Um, I just pretty much went for the smallest because I just wanted to make sure I had had a sample to do it side by side. So what do I think? And for the moment, I smelt this. I just really like it. I really, really like this um, clone that Matt's done. Um, it's just really fresh, really manly, as I say. And now, comparing it to the original, I can smell some subtle differences. Um, again, if you were just wearing this in isolation, you might not be able to, but doing a side by side, just to be honest with you, I can smell some differences. I would say the original is a little bit greener. I don't know if it's, I think there's green tea as one of the notes in Silver Mountain Water, but it just smells a little bit greener where the clone smells a little bit more fresh and citrusy. 
and I think it might be the bergamot that's in there that's a little bit amped in this version, I would say. I mean, this is just my opinion on my skin. It obviously all varies. So that's the differences that I can smell between the two. And I'm not just saying this, I prefer Matt's version. I prefer the Pocket Sense version. To me, I just I think it feels fresher and it just gives me this more aquatic vibe. I just imagine that, just that mountain scene with a stream flowing and that's I get that more with the Pocket Sense version. And I just prefer it, that sort of fresher, it's a bit more citrusy where the original is a little bit greener, which is, not, I, I like it, don't get me wrong, but I prefer the Pocket Sense version. Performance is really, really good. Now, I should emphasize that these are not like oily samples that have been just started with a just a base oil. You know which house I'm getting at. So when you put it on, these are EDP concentration and they're not oily at all. They go on your skin really nice and they perform really well. I would say they perform like an EDP. So you will get projection. It's not absolute beast over the arm, um, kind of over an arm's length. It's quite close, but you will smell yourself and others will smell you. They definitely project. And I easily got two to three hours projection, no worries. And it outperformed the original. Um, it got well over seven, eight hours, no worries with the Pocket Sense version. And the original was I don't know, six, six to seven hours. Um, so yeah, that's the difference that I found. Um, and I'm not just saying this, I promise you, I prefer the Pocket Sense version. And it's a great start to the test because so far I would happily own and wear this Pocket Sense version. And I prefer it to the original. So that's going to be a hell of a saving if this is released. This is definitely, if this is released, I will be getting a bottle of this. And I'm sure I'm not going to say that about every single one. So you'll know that I'm not just saying that. Anyway, to keep this video from being far too long, I'm going to stop talking. Hello and welcome to day two of this trial of some as yet unreleased fragrances from pocketsense.co.uk. Today I am trialing their as yet unreleased version of Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Now, if you are a subscriber to my channel or if you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that I love Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. To me, it's this just perfect blend of these sort of darker woody sandalwood notes and I get a tobacco note, which is not there. Tobacco is not in the fragrance, but for the moment I smelt it, to this day, I'm still adamant that I get a tobacco type note and that blends perfectly with the vanilla, amber, and coffee, which just is this sort of, gives it this creamy sweetness. And it seems that I'm the only person on the planet that actually can detect the mandarin. There's a mandarin note in there, and I do detect that at the top. And that just gives it this slight little kick of sort of fresh citrusness to me. So blended with that, with the, the cream, sort of sweet, creamy vanilla, amber, and the darker, Sort of tobacco note that doesn't exist that I get and the woods it's just perfect to me I love it I love the scent so as before I have got a sample from fragrancesamplesuk.com I've been wearing that on this arm and I've been wearing this as yet unreleased uh, version from pocketsense.co.uk on this arm now I would say um, I'm going to say that the performance has again been really good. I'll also note that yesterday's uh, Silver Mountain water, I could still smell that this morning when I woke up. And that's the Pocket Sense version I'm talking about. Um, so I could still kind of detect that. But anyway, I digress. Um, so before we get into the notes and the similarities, performance again was really good. So as before, I should emphasize that the Pocket Sense version is not oily. It's not oily like some other clones. It's um, EDP concentration, and again, it performs like an EDP. It wears, you, again, you do get some projection. You can certainly smell yourself and others can smell you, but it's not massive beast mode projector over an arm's length. It is a little bit closer, but as I say, you can smell yourself, others can smell you. And the performance is good. You get projection for, again, two or three hours, similar to as to yesterday's, and Again, it's lasted over six or seven hours. It's like over that. So again, really happy with the performance. No issues there. 
So let's get on to how they actually compare. So I will say the Pocket Sense version smells good. Okay, I'll declare that from, from straight from the off. It does smell good, but I like big butts. Doing a side by side test, I can smell the difference. Now I would say that this Phantom Tobacco note that I get from the original is certainly more prominent in the original. Um, that sort of darker, sort of more resinous, some sort of resinous wood, but like I say, to me it comes across as tobacco. It's more prominent in the original. And the pocketsense.co.uk version is has not got that prominent tobacco note, which I actually quite like. Um, I like that note, I mean. And I would say that the Neroli is stronger in the Pocket Sense version. Because it's kind of this fresh floral note that's got that sort of almost hint of citrus, which kind of you can get with Neroli sometimes. Um, and I say it is a hint. It, it's almost like the, the Kofi has got a flavor to it. Like, if you don't know, Kofi is a, an Indian kind of ice cream and they can come in different flavors like lime and that sort of thing. And that's kind of what the image I get, that, that it's not just plain kofi, it's like a flavored kofi with like a citrus and that. And I think that's coming from the Neroli. But again, it's really nice, a really nice version, but you can detect them side by side. And after sort of three to four hours, both those prominent notes, the prominent Neroli in this one and the prominent tobacco note in this one, both die down and then they start smelling a lot more similar. Hello and welcome to day three of the fragrance trial for pocketsense.co.uk. Today's fragrance that I've been trying is the as yet unreleased, their Pocket Sense version of Creed Viking. Now, before I start talking about the pocketsense.co.uk version, I'm going to just say a few words about the original. So, as always, I've got my sample from fragrancesamplesuk.com so hit them up if you're looking to spend some money on a fragrance and you want to just check before you do anyway uh, this is the first time I've ever tried and worn Creed Viking now in the fragcom it seems to have divided people some people absolutely love it and some people seem to be just bitterly disappointed by the release so I was quite curious to kind of try the original version to be honest and in all honesty it's not my cup of tea if I'm being perfectly honest with you I can I get the quality and I can see why people do like it it's obviously very well blended and you know it, it is a nice scent but it's that kind of earthy green notes that I get from it are just not not notes or chords that I particularly enjoy. But as I say, it's not to say it's bad, it's just not really for me. It's, the vetiver in there is quite earthy. I mean, for me, there's a kind of spectrum of vetiver. I quite like it when the vetiver is quite fresh and kind of clean, where this is a little bit more earthy. And the patchouli in there as well gives it this sort of quite green accord which again, not really my cup of tea, but each to their own, that's just me. Anyway, so that's just my feelings on Creed Viking. Now, the Pocket Sense version, um, so as always, I've been wearing the original on this arm and the Pocket Sense version on this arm, and I'm impressed from, if we're looking at it purely as how good is this compared to the original, it's really good. Of the three scents I've tried so far, this is by far the closest yet. This is really, really close. I would say, if you were not doing a side-by-side, -side, you would not be able to tell the difference. But doing a side-by-side, -side, if I was being really critical, I would say that the original version smells slightly fresher and I think that's because the mint is a little bit, just a, like a tad stronger in the original. So it just gives it this little bit more freshness in the sort of opening in the first hour or so. But certainly on the dry down, after a couple of hours, 
they are practically identical to my nose on my skin. I've been re like really impressed. I don't think anybody could tell the difference. But another thing that I should say is the Pocket Sense version is an absolute beast performer. I've got well over nine hours, easily, where the original died a while ago. Obviously I've reapplied it for the sake of this video because this is now recorded in the evening, but the original Creed, I don't know how many hours that lasted. It was kind of okay, I think, about six, six or seven, where the Pocket Sense version is still going strong before I reapplied. And it was at the nine or 10 hour mark. So yes, definitely points scored for this one. If you like Creed Viking, keep an eye out to see if this Pocket Sense version is released because this is really good, spot on. Hello and welcome to day four of this fragrance trial for pocketsense.co.uk. Today I have been trialing Oud Wood from Tom Ford. As with the previous days, I've got the original on this arm, I've got the Pocket Sense version on this arm. My sample I got from fragrancesamplesuk.com and just to focusing on the original for a, for a little moment, this is the first time I've actually ever worn it. I think I've tried it a few years ago, but I've got to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed wearing this fragrance today, thoroughly. I can totally get why everybody's in love with it. It is just such, such an appealing scent. I'm sure most of you already know this, but it's a very woody scent. It's obviously got oud in it. There's rosewood, there's sandalwood, and this is kind of blended just really nicely with some uh, vetiver, some tonka, amber, and vanilla, which just gives it this lovely hint of sweetness, which isn't synthetic at all. It's just a nice hint of natural sweetness balanced out with that really, really pleasant, appealing woods. And I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. And to be honest, I can say the exact same thing about the Pocket Sense version. Again, really, really nice and really appealing. And comparing the two, there's not much difference. Not much difference at all. Uh, so I can comfortably say I've really enjoyed today's trial. Um, it's just, thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> smelling these fragrances all day. Um, if I'm being really, really critical, and I th I, if I was wearing this in isolation, I don't think anybody could tell the difference, but wearing it side by side, I would say the original is slightly more barnyardy. Now, that's an adjective that only ever gets used in Fragcom, but I'm sure you know what I mean. My father-in-law is a farmer, but if I went on his land and said that barn is more barnyardy than that one, he'd probably think I was a fucking idiot. But you know what I mean when I say that. And I would say that the original has got this, so as I say, it's a slightly more barnyardy and it just has got this slight hint of a leathery accord, which the pocket sense version hasn't. Um, I thought I was going a little bit mad when I was kind of was picking up this sort of slight leathery accord, but kind of, so I had a quick look on for Grand to go and it looks like I'm not the only one that gets that. So that kind of makes me feel slightly less mental. Um, yeah, and I would say the Pocket Sense version though is very, very close. And that barnyardiness and that leathery accord is really slight. And I can only tell the difference going side by side. and that's sort of quite early on in the opening. After an hour or two, they're really similar and you can hardly tell the difference. Um, performance has been brilliant actually on both. I think apparently a lot of people suffer with poor performance from the original Oudwood. I'm lucky enough that I haven't, I've got to say. I put them on at about nine o'clock this morning and easily at six or seven o'clock this evening, I could still smell it even later than that, to be honest. So I comfortably got eight, nine hours easily. So you'll get a full day out of both. Um, I have reapplied, but I think the Pocket Sense version did last slightly longer. So I was smelling my arm at, I think it was about eight or nine o'clock this evening, and I could still smell both. They were skin scents, but I would say the Pocket Sense version was a little bit stronger and a little bit more noticeable. So 
again performance has been really good so this is another one from pocket sense just like the silver mountain water that i would really like to own myself um actually if i had to pick between the two and i'm not just saying this i would probably pick the pocket sense version because i would say it's ever so slightly sweeter i mean and i'm talking subtle here don't i'm not talking about any synthetic sweetness or over the top um, I would say it's ever so slightly sweeter and it's a natural sweetness and a little bit less barnyardy so I prefer that but I know some people like you know quite a sort of strong dirty oud as it were so I prefer the pocket sense version so yeah this one is a definite winner in my eyes anyway I suppose I should kind of summarize and kind of tell you how you get involved um, I should emphasise probably two things before I kind of say any more. Uh, the first thing is I am not, I've not been sponsored, I'm not getting paid, I've got no financial gain at all for this video. I've not even got any full bottles, I've literally got these tiny little samples. So don't think I'm doing it for the money or I'm, or I'm selling out. I mean I would, if somebody wants to pay me money, I'll sell out, but I'm, I'm not in this case. Um, so don't think that's the case. Um, and the other thing I should say is any information I give you in this video is obviously subject to, to change. So because this is these are as yet unreleased, so prices, volumes, concentrations, details may change. But I spoke to Matt before filming this last vid and he kind of filled me in what the current state of play is. So he thinks that they're going to be um, 50 mil bottles and they're going to be 35 pounds. And the concentrations, uh, as I say, are yet to be confirmed, but Matt suggests that they're going to be at least EDP concentration, uh, which is the ones that I've sampled over these last few days. And I can testify that the performance has been brilliant um, for pretty much all of them. Um, if I had to pick, my, my favourites would definitely be either the Oud Wood or the Silver Mountain Water. Um, I think... Oh, it's close. I think possibly Oud would, but then I've really enjoyed their version of Silver Mountain Water. I'd say the best actual direct clone of the four that I've tried would be probably Creed Viking. There really isn't much difference in that. Um, there's not much in the Oud Wood either. This, I mean, they've all been really good. But yeah, I think the ones I, I would look to own myself personally would be their version of Silver Mountain Water, which I preferred to the original, and their version of Oud Wood. Um, so yeah, right, that's the details. They're gonna be 35 pounds for 50 mil, um, quite probably EDP concentration. So what I'm just now gonna ask you is, if you contact Matt through either the pocketsense.co.uk website, uh, or their Facebook, or their Instagram, I'll put all the links kind of in the video description. And yeah, just say that, yeah, you've seen my video and you're interested in these, please kind of consider me. I don't know what Matt's gonna do, if he's gonna compile uh, some sort of like registered interest list so if it goes ahead he'll then contact you I suspect that's probably kind of what they'll do but yeah just um, by all means contact Matt give him some feedback if you want say look I'll pay this or whatever or I'm interested let me know um, and that's it really um, it's, it's over to you this is just as I say I'm not getting paid for this I was doing this for shits and giggles and I just thought I'd film it so that's what it is it's not I'm not getting anything out of it but I would like Silver Mountain War and Oud Wood, Matt, if you're watching. So, um, Right, that's it. Thank you for watching. I know this video has been quite long, um, so thank you for sticking with it. It's certainly longer than my usual videos, um, so I better sign off quickly without mumbling too much. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It does help and I do appreciate it. And I hope this you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Much love.